Gold Coast Airport is an Australian domestic and international airport located at the southern end of the Gold Coast, approximately 100 km south of Brisbane and 25 km south of Surfers Paradise. The entrance to the airport is situated in the suburb of Bilinga on the Gold Coast. The runway itself straddles five suburbs of twin cities across the state border of Queensland and New South Wales. During summer these states are in two different time zones. The Gold Coast Airport operates on Queensland time all year round. For the 2013 a Euro 14 financial year, Gold Coast Airport was the sixth busiest airport in Australia, and the busiest outside a state capital, in terms of passengers and eighth in aircraft movements. It is also the third fastest growing airport in the country. History Until 1999 the airport was known as Kolangatta Airport. This is an Aboriginal word meaning place of good view. It originally consisted of three grass strips with the intention of only providing an emergency landing ground for airmail aircraft transiting between Brisbane and Sydney. Passenger flights took off for the first time in 1939 using the then grassy field of the current Kolangatta site. Regular services were started by Queensland Airlines and Butler Air Transport after the Second World War. ANSIT started its own services in 1950 using DC-3s, while Trans Australia Airlines did the same in 1954 using DC-3s too as well as DC-4s and Convairs to link other Australian cities. By 1958 the taxiways and runways were fully paved, with the latter being upgraded a decade later to allow jet operations with DC-9 and L-188 Electra aircraft to begin. The current terminal, entitled Eric Robinson Building, was officially opened in 1981 by Acting Prime Minister Douglas Anthony, when at the time more than 650,000 passengers were using the airport. The following year, the main runway was lengthened to 2042 m, thus permitting the use of wide-body jets by the two domestic operators ANSIT Australia and Trans Australia Airlines and their Boeing 767 and Airbus A300 respectively on flights from Melbourne and Sydney. On January 1, 1988 the airport ownership was transferred from the government to the Federal Airports Corporation. Its full privatisation occurred a decade later, when it was taken over by Queensland Airports Limited on May 29, 1998. By 1999 the company's name had changed to become Gold Coast Airport Proprietary Limited. The airport suffered from the collapse of ANSET in 2001 a Euro ANSET had operated direct services from the Gold Coast to 12 Australian destinations. In 2003 GCAPL was taken over by Queensland Airports Limited and today also own and operate Mount Isa Airport, Townsville Airport and Longreach Airport, despite the name change from Kolangatta Airport to Gold Coast Airport during the change of ownership. The airport still carries its original IATA airport code, OOL. In 1990 the airport welcomed its first international charter service from New Zealand, and by 1999 Air New Zealand low-cost subsidiary Freedom Air started scheduled no-frills service from Hamilton, New Zealand with Boeing 737s. In 2007 the airport celebrated the arrival of AirAsia X, which began services directly to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and Tiger Airways Australia, which started services to Melbourne. By January 2008 the Kuala Lumpur route has proved so popular that all flights up to the month of March were completely booked. AirAsia X announced that they would begin a daily service from February 6, 2010. On September 22, 2008 it was announced that Air Pacific will expand its services to Australia with the introduction of twice-weekly flights between Noddy. Fiji and the Gold Coast commencing in December 2008. Air Pacific's Managing Director and CEO, John Campbell, said Australia is Fiji's number one source of visitors and with a population growing rapidly in the southeast corner of Queensland we know the time is right to introduce this service. The new route commenced on December 1, 2008, with two flights per week operated by the 160-seat Boeing 737 to 800 aircraft on a Monday and Saturday. The service has since been suspended. By 2009 Jetstar began flying at least twice daily to the Japanese cities of Tokyo and Osaka. Services to New Zealand increased as well, with Jetstar, Air New Zealand and Pacific Blue flying to Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch. 
Air North also started services to the airport from Darwin, via Mount Isa. In addition, Virgin Blue announced direct services from Canberra and Townsville. This opens up connections between all three QAL-owned airports a Euro Mount Isa Airport, Townsville Airport and Gold Coast Airport. 2010 saw Jetstar announce the airport as its newest hub, increased services to Cairns and new direct services to Perth and Queenstown. Tiger Airways also announced their newest base at Avalon Airport in Geelong, and said that services from Avalon to the Gold Coast will commence later in the year. However, services to Adelaide would be cut due to delays in receiving new aircraft which were meant to be for their new Avalon base. On June 13, 2010 startup airline Pacific Flyer began weekly services from Core, Palais, using an Airbus A310. The route has since been suspended due to traffic rights and terminal access being halted in Palais. On October 26, 2010 Gold Coast Airport was named the 2010 Major Airport of the Year 2010 by the Australian Airports Association. On November 16, 2010 Jetstar announced new daily direct services to Hobart. On March 30, 2011 Gold Coast Airport was named the best regional airport Asia Pacific and was awarded the Staff Service Excellence Australia Pacific Award at the Skytrax World Airport Awards in Copenhagen, Denmark. On June 12, 2012 Scoot commenced services to Singapore. On August 13, 2012 Qantas announced that it will return to Gold Coast flying from Sydney three times daily using a Boeing 737-800. On September 28, 2012 Qantas commenced services to Sydney. On December 11, 2013 Jetstar announced that they will end the three times weekly services to Osaka Kansai on May 8, 2014. On September 8, 2014, Jetstar announced they will commence services to Wellington and Queenstown, New Zealand in December 2014. On December 21, 2014, Jetstar announced they will reinstate Perth services from March 29, 2015. On December 22, 2014 Jetstar announced they will launch services to Noddy, Fiji commencing from March 31, 2015. Infrastructure It is anticipated that a railway station will be constructed at the airport when the Gold Coast Line is extended. In 2008 the Tugan Bypass opened and provided a much faster road link to the airport, with the bypass also featuring a tunnel under the runway. The airport opened an extension to the main runway as well as a full-length parallel taxiway in May 2007. The runway will be 2,500 metres long, allowing for heavier aircraft with greater range to take off. The final runway was confirmed as 2,492 metres long in 2007, as says the plaque and photos of 2006 runway length of 2042 meters compared to the 2007 runway length of 2492 meters on the left wall of the arrival southern exit. On May 16, 2007, the runway extension was officially inaugurated by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Transport, the Honorable Mark Vale MP. Gold Coast Airport appointed ADCO Constructions as the principal design and construct contractor for a $100 million redevelopment of the airport's main terminal. Completed in 2010, the project has doubled the size of the existing facility to almost 27,000 m2, incorporating domestic and international operations with self-service kiosks and 40 common user check-in desks. The works will accommodate forecast growth for the next 10 years with a further expansion, Stage 2, scheduled to kick in upon demand. The main terminal a Euro Terminal 1 a Euro currently houses operations for Jetstar Airways, Virgin Australia, Air New Zealand, AirAsia X, Tiger Air and Scoot. Tiger Air flights previously operated from a low-cost terminal with basic amenities, located approximately 200 m from the main terminal building. The building is loosely similar to Terminal 4 at Melbourne Airport but on a much smaller scale. Tiger flights have since been moved to the main terminal. SEAIR Pacific, a scheduled and charter airline based at Gold Coast Airport, operate from their own hangar situated in the general aviation part of the airport. An instrument landing system is scheduled to be installed at the airport by June 2015 to enable planes to land during adverse weather conditions.
it would be a required navigation performance system rather than a traditional ILS as this would allow planes to cross the coast at Carmen rather than surf as paradise and therefore flying over fewer houses. The proposed ILS had become an issue with residents concerned with noise. Lounges, Gold Coast Airport has two airline lounges, one, operated by Virgin Australia, has been operational since May 30, 2012, and is available to business class passengers, Virgin Australia lounge members, and Velocity Frequent Flyer Gold and Platinum members. A Qantas club has been operational at the airport as of December 3, 2012, and is available to business class passengers, Qantas club members, and Qantas Frequent Flyer Gold and Platinum members. Airlines and Destinations equals passenger services equals, the following airlines operate scheduled and in some cases chartered passenger flights from Gold Coast Airport. All passenger airlines operate flights from the main terminal with the exception of SEAIR Pacific, which operates from their own hangar in the general aviation part of the airport. Notes, one Hong Kong Airlines makes an intermediate stop in Cairns en route to Hong Kong. However it has no traffic rights to carry passengers solely between Gold Coast and Cairns. Equals cargo services equals, the following airlines operate scheduled cargo flights from Gold Coast Airport. All cargo services operate from the freight terminal. Qantas Freight uses the belly space of Jetstar aircraft to transport cargo domestically. It is also contracted for Jetstar International flights and Air New Zealand flights from the airport. It offers same-day overnight and standby services domestically airport to airport and airport to door from Gold Coast Airport. Coast Cargo is a registered cargo terminal operator and currently handles AirAsia X and Virgin Australia Airlines. It is also the agent for Toll Air Express. Equals emergency services equals, CMS Air Ambulance, RAC Coo Care Flight. Operations. Equals domestic equals. Equals international equals, notes, one flights began on June 12, 2012. Public transportation, see also transport on the Gold Coast. Equals road equals, the airport is located on the western side of the Gold Coast Highway, the terminal is 300 meters from the highway. The Gold Coast Highway passes through all the coastal suburbs of the city and is the most direct route to most of major holidays destinations on the Gold City. The Pacific Motorway Interchange is 1.5 kilometers south of the airport. The Pacific Motorway connects the city to northern New South Wales, western suburbs and Brisbane City. Equals public bus equals, all bus services are provided by Translink. Bus Route 777, Broad Beach South Bus Station via Gold Coast Highway. This service is a limited stop, express service only. From there passengers can connect to other bus services in the G, Link. Bus Route 761, Robin a Town Centre via Varsity Lakes Railway Station and the Pines Shopping Centre. Bus Route 761, Tweed Heads via Kira and Kolangata. Equals Airport Shuttles equals, Gold Coast Tourist Shuttle provides transportation from Gold Coast Airport to hotels throughout the Gold Coast. Customer service desks are in the international and domestic terminals. There are a number of private operators offering transfers between Gold Coast Airport and Brisbane. Scheduled transfers are available for arriving and departing passengers. Accidents and incidents. In March 1949, a Lockheed Lodestar aircraft became airborne at Bilingo Airstrip for a flight to Archer Field Airport. Before reaching a height of 500 feet it stalled and crashed. All 21 occupants died in the crash or the ensuing conflagration. It was Queensland's worst civil aviation accident. See also List of airports in Queensland, Transport in Australia References External links, Gold Coast Airport Official Site